Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, this is gonna be vlog three. Oh, I want to clear something up. My YouTube channel is My Life Is Jason. It has no relation to that show, My Life Is Liz. I didn't even know it existed until one of my friends pointed it out to me. But I did not try and steal anything from that show whatsoever. I just thought of that one day, and I thought I'd use that. But anyways, uh, let's get started. So my first question is from Anonymous. Hey Jace, I need to learn how to be the strong one in a relationship and not be the pushover. Well, you don't necessarily want to be the strong one because relationships are supposed to be about equalness. Two people coming together as one, you know what I mean? But if he is pushing you over, you want to learn to put your foot down. Like, how do I say this? You want to put your foot down, like, when there's something you don't like, you make sure you tell him. And if there's something you do like, you also make sure you tell him. But if there's something you don't like, don't just, like, let it slide. Just be like, oh, it's okay, it's nothing. No, you can't do that, because that's when you start becoming the pushover. So basically, you just got to start putting your foot down and just be like, um, I don't like this, or don't talk to me like that, or, uh, what are you doing? Don't do that. Stuff like that, you know? Just put your foot down and be confident. But yeah, keep your head up. <laughs> Ooh, this is a long one. Alright, this one is from Chantel. My boyfriend is the coast is in the Coast Guard, and he doesn't make any effort to show me he cares anymore. He used to send me cute letters, notes, etc. Just to show me he cares. But not anymore. I feel like I'm the only one trying. What do I do? Well, Chantel. It... My advice is, first you gotta talk, sit down and talk to him and see if he still wants this relationship, or if he's just sticking around because he want, he feels he might hurt you if he doesn't. But if he does want this, then also sit down and talk with him about uh, what he can do to make you feel more comfortable in this relationship. But at the same time, if he doesn't want this, you're in college. <laughs> There's so many guys out there. And if he doesn't want this, just be like, next. Because, yeah, like I said, you're in college. There's so much more to do in college. I mean, yeah, I I learned myself that you got to start living and getting to know other people instead of getting tied down. But at the same time, I don't see anything wrong with getting tied down. But, like I said, you just talk to him and talk to him, see if he still wants this. And if he does still want this, talk to him about ways he, he can improve on himself to make you feel more comfortable in the relationship because like you said you're the only one making an effort to show that you care but anyways just keep your head up all right so this is a funny one uh anonymous i need to grow balls and talk to girls also i don't know how to flirt um i touched on this in my first vlog but i'll go a little more in depth with it this time uh so, the grow balls and talk to a girl, basically, it's all about confidence. Because me, when I first started talking to girls, I was too scared. Too, too, too scared. I said that in my first vlog also. And honestly, today, I'm still a little nervous to talk to girls. <laughs> but honestly, when I first very started, very first started talking to girls, I was like, okay, screw it, I'm gonna go talk to her. So then I started walking over there, I talked to her, introduced myself, say something stupid. Make myself look stupid. Total failure, but I gained confidence because I was like, holy crap, I just grow, grew this big of balls right now to talk to a girl. And then you're just going to keep building your nuts up like this. And once they're like this big, you, you can say anything to a girl. But <laughs> no, you just got to keep saying screw it and go talk to a girl. And eventually you'll get better at it. You'll get more confident at it. And it's one of those things that just takes practice, because you can't just wake up one day and be like, alright, I'm a god, I can talk to any girl I want. It takes practice, and honestly, I know some people that actually talk to themselves in the mirrors, I know that's a little weird, but I guess it helps, it helps them. Now, on the flirting part, it depends on the girls, really. Like, not to sound like, stereo like uh, I stereotype everybody, but... What I found out a lot is certain groups of girls, you can flirt with them certain ways, and you can flirt with them certain ways that you can't flirt with them certain ways. Like, 
Uh, hmm. Let's see. Actually, I'm gonna let you figure that one out, because... I'm having a brain fart right now, I just got off of work, but you just gotta observe those girls and see what kind of stuff they like. Like if you're looking at a group of girls that love to dance, go up to them and talk about dance. Start a conversation. You're talking to, you see a group, group of basketball girls, go talk to them about basketball. You see a group of fresas, go talk to them about Mexico. I don't know. <laughs> but you just gotta start that conversation and then throw in little compliments. Like, ooh, muy bonita. No, don't, don't, don't do it like that. Don't, don't do it like that. I was kidding. But throw in little cute compliments here and there to show them that you're not just trying to be a friend. But flirting is all about, everyone has their own style of flirt, so you gotta develop your style of flirting. That's a, that's always fun. I, I'm still developing mine. I'm not the best flirter in the world either. So it's kind of funny that I'm giving advice on it, but... Yeah, I mean, just keep your head up and keep trying. Just keep saying screw it and go to talk to those girls, you know what I mean? <laughs> but anyways, I have to start studying for... Well, not studying, I gotta go read my stupid, stupid psychology book. But anyways, uh, hit me up, get ready for video vlog 4. See you guys later.